Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove your old broken or dirty temple tips from your Ray-Ban. Uh, this is the 3025 model. This one's an old one actually, really old. This is an original Bosch and Loam, so we're talking at least 20 years old, probably older. And you can see the tips broken, cracked on the end. So what you want to do is you want to heat this tip in some way. I have a frame heater right here, but as far as you guys at home, um, a blow dryer or if you get a bowl of water and fill it up from your sink, just use hot water. Don't microwave it or boil it. That could damage the frame or injure you for that matter. So just a blow dryer would be fine or like I said, just a bowl of water. If you do the bowl of water, let the frame or the temple tip piece just sit in the water for about 60 seconds. This is going to soften it up a little bit, make it easier to remove. Uh, if you have a blow dryer though, make sure you don't overheat it. Um, I'll heat up this one just to show you, but you don't want to leave it in there that long. And what I'm going to do after I heat this, I'm going to actually straighten out this earpiece a little bit like I did on this one. I've already removed this side so I could show you. So it's not going to hurt the frame. But what we're going to do, once we heat this, we're going to straighten it out or actually just reduce some of that curve so that temple tip slides off. <clears throat> so if you're using the blow dryer, don't use the real hot setting, just put it on low and just kind of rotate it around. Again, we're not trying to melt it off or anything. We're just trying to soften this a little bit so it'll help us remove it. So once, once I get this warmed up a little bit, I'll turn the heat off here and just bend this curve out. You don't have to make it perfectly straight, just so it kind of straightens out. And then with my little pliers here, now see this one's really old, so it's just kind of breaking apart. If you have a newer one, yours will probably come off easier. Mine was cracked, so it's actually coming off in pieces here. There we go. So once you get that side off, you're going to want to clean it. So this, to make this video a little shorter, I've already cleaned this other side. Uh, I use Windex, but at home I would just use soap and water, um, use a paper towel, scrub that off a little bit. Um, but to put the tip back on, <clears throat> and this is an original Ray-Ban temple tip here that I have, uh, what I like to do is put a little bit of Windex on the, the end of the temple, it's just to help it slide. Again, if you're at home here, you can just use soap and water. So to insert this temple on the end here, you're going to want to push and twist at the same time. So you want to get it started. And then hold. make sure you hold this at the end here, because if you hold it up here at the front and try to push, you can easily bend that temple. So hold it here at the end and just kind of twist and push. Eventually that'll slide right on. You can see it followed up into the end there. Now if you have black tips or brown tips, you're not going to see this go all the way on. So just make sure that's all the way on there by twisting. So then what I'm going to do after I've inserted that all the way on, I'm going to heat this new tip back up and then create our bend again. This might be a good chance for you guys to adjust your frames as well. What I mean by that is wherever your ear sits back here, this might be a good chance to adjust your frame if it hasn't already been adjusted properly. So here's the bend I created in that one. And it's going to vary per person too. So. This one's pretty extreme, but if your ears are set further back on your head, you're going to want to straighten this tip out. Uh, the further your ears are forward, you're going to want to wrap this around your ear. Because these frames are pretty top-heavy, 
So you don't want to have this too straight or else it's going to slide down your nose. So you can just play with it. If you have any questions, shoot us an email, leave us a comment. You can buy these tips on our website, sunglassreplacementlenses.com. Thank you.